Alright guys, this is Dokken with another Minecraft video. You heard it and today this is episode 11, Ooh, I can't jump, <laughs> of the Minecraft World Tour. And sometimes guys I really get confused. You know, with all the snapshots and different versions I'm playing on at the moment, I'm never sure if some features are in the game or not, so I just came through the portal here, suddenly Zisto came for a visit in my world and I was like, huh? Was that in 1.3.2 already or not? So by now it really gets annoying and confuses me a bit and I hope um, soon we hit October 24th and yeah I will upgrade the world tour then to the yeah latest update but until that I want to play on 1.3.2 because there's still many things to do and today yeah I was super busy with the snapshot videos I did yesterday released three or four videos alone but um, the day before I had time to work down here in the nether um, I also did a time lapse of the build and at the moment I'm transferring the files from the laptop to my other computer to render them and it takes eight hours to transfer. Um, I had trouble with my external hard drive normally I can just record it on there unplug it take it over and um, yeah but for some reason uh, yeah it's long story short it didn't work <laughs> so now I have to transfer it via um, the network and it takes forever so I don't know if I can include this time lapse today um, and I have to check the footage and if it's good anyways but I thought it would go faster but I worked here on completing our ride down in the nether which connects home base and the stronghold and yeah quite a nice ride and we arrive in some kind of a hub here um, I don't wanna have multiple gates or portals whoop lag spike just this uh, single one and where we can see the buttons I can put down tracks just like here um, if I press here it doesn't affect the track which is uh, positioned right there so no problem so you can have uh, multiple cars uh, in total six destinations in here um, without doing any complicated redstone or anything and I think I will just leave it like that maybe in the future we upgrade a bit but yeah the whole building here is half slab style half slab and uh, stone bricks smooth stone slabs and here we got a little lava lighting the basic design but I think it fits nicely as it is the nether ran out of working pick in here only got my silk touch I don't want to use that so let's have a quick look outside I think I have no arrows left yeah need to be careful hopefully there's no guest otherwise it can be a bit annoying just want to have a quick look from the outside let me eat something real quick yeah this is what we got so far I kept off the other exits um, with the nether rack there but I just like the look of the smooth stone here in the nether it stands out nicely yeah let's get on top maybe have a quick look yeah I like it hopefully the lighting glitch yeah they wanna change the lighting engine but actually you know some of these lighting glitches are really cool I wonder why this is weird here hmm. <laughs> but it, I like it, you know, how it looks when it shines through. Yeah, and we got this roof here, combination of stairs, half slabs, and yeah, mix of half slabs just to give it more, I know, structure. But yeah, we won't see that from outside too often. I was just concerned about, as I was doing the time lapse, I had dog camera here circling around me. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, as I said, transferring the file takes forever might include it or might release it separately or so I have to see if it, how it turned out and it's not the complete build even because then the hard drive was full 
of the laptop because I couldn't use my external drive, yeah, as I said. <laughs> Long story, it was a bit complicated, um, I have to test it, you know, I have not much experience with these time lapses, so I have to learn by doing, basically. Yeah, so this is what we have here, I really like the interior. Um, later on I started to use these half slabs for the spaces in between now, and I really like it, mm, looks pretty decent. So now I thought, probably, out here in our tunnels, replacing all these half slabs with the smooth stone ones. We could quickly try it out. I mean, yeah, running on iron. I wanted to finish the build so I didn't go back, but it's also doable with iron. I mean, it, you know, stands out a bit and I think it would look better and give the whole thing more structure, so I might do that. Leave some feedback about it, what do you think? But I think it is okay. Also, yeah, there is some problems to the system, that is one problem, so I was thinking of putting glass panes um, above the tracks here. Also, of course, you know, the gas can see me in here, for example, as the track is right next to the wall. If one sees me, he can potentially blow up the tracks, but I think it can only happen when I walk around here. We'll see, you know, in the future when I ride this track ever so often. Um, then we'll see um, if we can destroy tracks. I also added some of the upside down stairs and so on, these little details to smoothen out our tunnel here and I'm really satisfied with the result now. And I think yeah, from here we could branch off to multiple directions around our world. It's really useful to have a nice nether portal. For now, if we travel back now of course, one issue I'm having, and here we are, back at our main island. Of course, you know, it's pretty tedious for me to get up here. For now we had just this little yeah, dirt walkway. And an idea I had for this area here, when we then have our ender farm going, which I should start to tackle yeah, in one of the next episodes, maybe next time already, start working on there, pretty sure. <coughs> And can't promise, depends a bit on the time I can invest on the world tour. But, yeah, we should be d getting there. I need to collect some more string and so on, do a bit of research. But should be cool. So, when we get that, we have a lot of ender pearls and can easily teleport up here. So, then we just um, add in an ender pearl elevator down there and everything should be cool. Yeah, we'd probably have it right here below, you know, have a little opening in there, bam, ender pearl in there, and then we reach our portal, and it's also nicely hidden, you wouldn't see it from the sides at least, of course, maybe you'd see it from below, but that is something. Also, a little thing that slightly starts to get on my nerves is the enderman damage I start to get around the island. Everywhere there's this random holes and blocks missing, I really don't like it, so... I don't know, I might have to start to think about lighting up the island somehow. Maybe glowing trees, you know. It's pretty barren around here. Also, people were requesting the home base um, where we want to put our main base. And for the main base, it's built. I want to wait until update 1.4 because there's so many new features and maybe we get some more features. And, you know, at your main base, at your main house, at your storage area, you want to have all the good features in reach, so you need to know what features there are, so you can plan ahead a bit. Um, at the moment I am strongly leaning towards some kind of a mix between including some rooms into the rock. There was that creeper over there. And I'm completely out of arrows, yeah. Need a skelly spawner. So yeah. Partially inside the rock, but also building on top of it. So, you know, that's the plan and I think we'll follow that. Um, not quite sure about the materials for the main base. Haven't really thought about it, but for the storage system I want to include the ender chest thing. And also, you know, um, the item frames and yeah, now we got the anvils. You can do funny stuff with that. And yeah, research is needed, so... 
for now we should do the basic things um, get our basic farms together because nothing would change there but today it is episode 11 and as it is episode 11 I really thought um, it's time to really dedicate some time to search for Arnold and yeah we shall do that I'm just gonna put all this stuff in here mm, that should be good enough maybe we can pick up some ice on the way always useful I wanna go over I've got enough food wanna go over to the mainland and search around in the taiga um, we should have chances to find some dogs there and hopefully run into a dog and tame it and hopefully it'll be Arnold then because yeah I feel lonely and it's time to bring him back episode 11 so let's see need to make a boat some small preparations and then we set sail alright I'm down at the cave spider xp farmer slash string farmer and I'm thinking about um, getting a new pick before we go we're at level 20 already and maybe we run into a stupid death situation over at the mainland and then we lose it all so I thought let's collect some spiders and I really like how the farm works by now and the spiders really you know line up perfectly sit still don't climb around Whoop just fine and you can trap them very easily let's see we got 92 entities let's get this last one in there all right close the door and let's go down there and kill him um did you guys want to have a tutorial for that setup here the complete design with the xp collection and all i wondered saw some comments requesting it I might refine it a bit with a time crusher, but let me know. So, let's crush him a bit. Let's see if that did the trick. Didn't bring any potions. Yeah. <coughs> with the stone swords I made here. And kill them all. Let's see how much XP we can collect. Alright, almost there. Okay, let's open our door. I stepped on the light switch. Ah, <laughs> nice XP shower. <laughs> oh, cool, <laughs> nicely timed. All right, let's go enchanting. All right, let's give it a try. What the? All the time? No, no. Oh. <laughs> Not much damage done. He only took out the, uh, the bookshelf. I can live with that. Sucker. Let's fill that little bit in here. Man, man, man. <laughs> yeah. I need my home, my safe home place. <laughs> Daredevil. <laughs> All right. So come on, guys. Keep the fingers crossed. I'm going to go. We had uh, so much bad luck with the odd number, so let's go for an even number this time. Let's go for the second one. <laughs> this is one I will store. And keep for 1.4. I'll use it, but I'll store this crap. Ah, you kidding me? This is so painful, man. Uh, I will store this crap in 1.4, use an anvil to repair him and make me efficiency 5 or something. But I think you need to <laughs> two efficiency 4, so maybe I can fix it up to efficiency 4 and then make efficiency 5 pickaxes out of it. So there's hope. Okay, off to the mainland. All right, so over there we have some taiga. While we're here, we might as well grab some grass blocks. <laughs> Actually, I want to pick up ice. Come on, let's fix it. I can't send it. Those pickaxes. With efficiency 5 and upgrade 1.4, update 1.4, 
and a speed potion you can instant mine stone by the way pretty cool come on dark time keep your fingers crossed I'm hoping to run into some seems pretty west we're exploring new area here so never know what you will find but oh wolf wolf 12 o'clock a lonely wolf are you lonely yes one lonely wolf that must be a sign dude come here I got something for you I got something for you my friend a bone one two three four yes yo buddy what's up man a to the N to the R to the O oh that was wrong Arnold <laughs> Yo, bro, glad to have you back, man. You really was a lonely wolf. There's nobody around, eh? Well, let's go home, man. Come on. Let's go home. I want to show you something. Glad you could make it, man. <laughs> How was it? Like somebody did put you out in the wilds and you turned back into a wolf or what? Like, did you hunt odds a lot and all and creepers in the night? How was it? Like... Your wildlife experience. Now it's time for, for some 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 action again. You know, it's oh, who got down there? Don't know him. Is it your girlfriend? Probably. Come on, say goodbye. Well, there's more wolves. They're appearing out of nowhere. That's pretty creepy. I want to go. Come on, come on, Arnold. We want to go home. All right. One night out here. <laughs> Quite some fighting. Got some arrows. Had Arnold back here waiting for us. <laughs> Sweet. That worked out. <coughs> Got some more ice. Got eight arrows again. At least something. And now I wish you could put your pads into a boat. Yeah. This is gonna be annoying. Let's go, bro. Come on. Come on. We're going home. <laughs> we did that before with the pigs. Took forever. Well, alright. I'll bring him back. Almost made it home. Do you think, Arnold, the new place? What? Yes, okay, I got no shrine for you yet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Do you expect more? I mean, come on, we just started. <laughs> you got a new guy, Doc Camera. He's not around at the moment because, yeah, the computer he's using is transferring files <laughs> for time lips I wanted to do. For the viewers. Yeah, yeah, things changed a bit. Yep. Nope, not Doc M77's World Tour anymore. It's the Minecraft World Tour. Because, yeah, you know, we've been using so many designs, and yeah, so why brand it Doc M? Let's call it the Minecraft World Tour and show some of the technology. Yeah. This is the stuff we got. Come on. What do you. What's, stop doing crazy stuff already. No, 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 no. Where are you at? Starting to dig holes around this place. I got enough problems with that with the Enderman. So, bro, sit there, watch my back. Know what we need, man? We need a cat. Yes, we need a cat. Come on, don't give me the look. Hmm. You know why? We want to put a cat around here so we're a bit safe from the creeper attacks. No? Yeah. You have to understand that it's more for practical reasons, not to replace you. Come on. Would you like me anymore? There you go. Good boy. Hmm? You still love me. Okay. <laughs> so, 
So at the moment I'm at the slime farm output area and I want to change some things around here. And for that I need to change the roof of the whole construction. Need to bring it up a little bit, get a little bit of a dome shape in there or something. Might be a bit darkish again, but that's that underwater work for you. So let's knock out all this glass. My little safety pillar here. It'll help. <laughs> and yeah, make make it a bit of a different room. Now it's dark. I got the last piece of glass. Good to safety. Ah, quite annoying. <laughs> so yeah, I'll work on that a little bit. Now we basically need to bring the roof up by one and then we should be cool. I have to see. Then um, I can show you the plan I had because we need a nice entry here and also a nice way to kill them. So kind of want to combine that. Ah, we got some air gaps here. It's nice. Okay, so I'm closing off the roof. So, all right. The basic idea, you can see it here. I extended the drop here. Now they got a three high drop. That should work out. And I want to have the ceiling extended. Did I knock out all glass needed? Yeah. And also, yeah, work in here a little bit with half slabs and so on, or stairs. We'll see. Yeah, I'll do that later on. For now, it's functionality, some testing. The idea is to have water coming down right from here. And I can use that to get in and out of the system, but also it will provide the water stream that kind of flushes out the slam. So let's aim. That should be the right one. Yeah, here I don't have a sign with me yet. I also had to snag one letter from my exit over there. I think we can remove that. We can swim out through the top now. Whoa. Weird. Yeah, and of course, yeah, as I said, I need a sign there to prevent the fall, uh, the waterfall. <laughs> and yeah, I think. Yeah, I might frame it in a little bit or maybe make the ceiling a little bit higher, but this will maybe be my way to get in and out. Yeah. You might also try to drown them. I, I'll I'll pick some stuff. I maybe a fence gate will do too. You flush him ahead and drown him, but dropping him is quick. Hmm. We'll see. Okay, let's do a drop damage test. I got to sit up there. I raised the roof some more because I found it a bit hard to get in and out of the system. Now it should be more comfortable when you arrive down here. Maybe I'll automate it a bit more. We'll see. Let's knock out the middle. Water stream in. And for now, they're just sitting there and drowning. That is a bit of an issue. Yeah, it is because of the water stream directly on top of them, I suppose. I suppose. We should have a bit of a current there though. But yeah, this is uh, kind of a dead spot when water drops down. <laughs> we'll look at it again. Yeah, I think it could cause problems. I'm gonna wait for some more slams. Alright, let's see. Getting more slam. Yeah, there's some coming up the ladder. So now I have the water stream set back a bit. 
Let's see, we get some roaming around down here. Okay. Are there still some coming up? I think I saw at least one in there. Yeah. The dancing around. So what I did now is did push the water stream back one block. It's now not in the center anymore. It comes down here and then directly above the stair we have a stronger current as the water drops in here and then flows forward. Now all we need is some of the slime to come up the stairs. If it's only one or so down there you need a bit more, one or two, to encourage them to climb up the slime escalator. But yeah, then we have the three high drop. I hope it was good enough. I hope it was three. Maybe it's a bit more, but that can be fixed. Alright, I'll stick around <laughs> and wait for some slime. Okay, now we got a bunch of slime in the system. Uh, let's uh, see. Here they come. Aha. Uh -huh. Slime ball. Mm hmm. So, yeah, we need a drop height of four. They drop four, they die. <coughs> it was four, not three. So I was wrong. I did one of the slime farms before, but it was a while back, uh, a while ago. So you always have to refresh your memory. But okay, so now we got a functional kill solution. There's more, let's see. Yup. Works fine. Okay, so now we need an option um, yeah, to switch it on and off. Kill or not kill. Basically a storage system. And that should be the next step in this build. Alright, let's try to further automate it. Um, the idea is like that. Let me see, let's get in here. Prepare it a little bit. We have this piston and we have the fence on top of it. There's a torch. And we want to grab a redstone signal from here. So we just bring it over like that, connect it. Let's get out of that hole here again. No. This. Careful, we can fill in here. There, we need to watch out. We would cut it. Come on. Alright, that's working. So let's put the floor back in. So I can show you the basic idea. I think it's pretty cool. So that's, that needs to be open. And block here, block there. I might change that to stairs. It's just to test the function functionality. So get some water in there. I want to test if it works. And I might close it off here or something. But the basic idea is default um, setting right now. I got I got them in there. When they fall down from this side, they should not die. And yeah, should just roam around roam around in here. Um, just okay, you know, when I'm away and I don't want to kill them, this way they will stay alive and I can harvest them later. But if I actively want to harvest, I might just hang around here, stand on the pressure plate and yeah, um, they should die from the drop on the fence gate here. So first real test run, let's give it a go. Okay, that was a fail. We only hit one. I need to make sure they drop at the right spot. They need to drop on here, so I need to... Uh, let's use some glass for now as railing. They have some railing in here. So they fall correctly. Mm. Yep. Knock this out for a second. They can slip through half slap 
gaps. So we need to make sure the shoot here is okay. You know, so we kind of guard their drop or guide their drop. Let's see if it works. I don't know, maybe the water currents are too strong. We have to think of something else. Maybe we don't need the water cur cur currents at all. We'll see. I have to stick around <laughs> for a bit and collect more slime. All right, slime storing works. If I wanna get these, let's see, they freak, aha, he died. Another one dropped, he died. Died again. It works okay, but the storing, okay, I got it blocked off now. That gets them a bit in trouble. What the? <laughs> is there hitboxes or what? The hitbox is so crazy. You can press the pressure plate or what? Yeah, and they bump each other into each other there when I want to flush them out. Like this. So, but it would be cool to hold them in. I wonder if I use half slaps here, if it would disturb them much. Let's see if, if they would be able to escape right now. And yeah, now they pop out like crazy. They have so weird hitboxes. Get off me. <laughs> yeah, but the theory works, I think. Or a half slap on top maybe even better. Let's see, maybe stick half slaps in like that, you know, and then I can punch him to death and then flush the slam balls out. Okay, I've been down there encouraging spawns a little bit. That speeds it up if we're a bit closer. And now we should be able to see the final test. Okay, storing works, flushing out works. Sweet, now let's try kill, kill dropping them. I think it worked as well. It's a bit hard to see if you have all these slimes around. Yep, there we saw one drop in just now. cool if you had one more coming up but I think it works I will do some more testing off camera if and look yeah if I need to change something off yeah for the system but I think we're good looks okay to me if you guys have any ideas for improvements on and so on of course always feel free to comment about it uh, I'll check the comments and if you say hey I've got a good video response for that I'll also check it out um, just don't want to have random and video responses on the um, video so if you want to put down a video response to this one here please name it um, world tour episode 10 or 11 it is actually and yes yeah, slime farm um, solution or something so i can find it easily amongst all the video responses i get on a daily basis so that would be cool so i can approve it all right so i'd say that concludes it i'm still waiting for the timeless to transfer sorry guys doesn't look like I can put it into this episode. I'll try next time, but I have to check the footage first. If it sucks. Yeah, I think it died. If it sucks, um, well, I won't use it, but yeah, if it's good, I will try to implement it. I think the system works. I think we're okay. Alright, see you next time, guys. Oh, that's a hidden treasure and I also know it is rigged when you go down there so we have to 